All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the base, three for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Coming to you live with another video, man. Look, man, if you need to be on top of stuff like this, make sure y'all subscribe. You know, for more daily 2K content, man. Ain't nobody bringing the 2K heat every day of the week like me. Now, as y'all can see, I'm out here in the park, and we're playing this game. And what's supposed to be happening today, I mean, it's supposed to be here, but it ain't. It's supposed to be these neighborhood joints, man. The question that y'all want to know, what happened to Puma Mania? Now, it just say an event. I don't even think it says Puma Mania. It don't even say Puma Mania anymore. It literally just says today's events, and it's got 3 a.m., to 12 a.m. Boom. That's what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be Puma Mania. What they have done is they have killed Puma Mania and replaced it with just the wreck. And why they've done that is I've done a lot of searching on the internet. I've done a lot of everything, man. And and this is this is the, the most common thing I keep coming up with. Your boy Ticino put out there, he says, Puma Mania just ended out of nowhere. Why? There was an eight times rep glitch, so they ended it. 2K. So, so that's what it is. 2K ended it, but so, you know, me being the person I am, I decided that, hey, let me go out here and let me just check out eight times, eight time rep, hey, eight time rep method, eight time rep method. Now these, a lot of these videos are not the real videos. They're not the eight time rep methods, right? Because what a lot of people are doing is they just put the video out and saying, hey, you can get eight times rep, but we all know how to get eight times rep. If you want to try to get the eight time rep, what you had to do was, you know, play Puma Mania today, play Puma Mania tomorrow, play Puma Mania Monday, and then try to hit the wheel for two times rep, and that would effectively give you eight times rep. But that's not that's not what happened. That's not what was happening. People were legitimately boosting and getting eight times rep. Like, like look right here. Heard too many people were boosting and getting eight times rep. Hey, look, look, people, everyone, every one of these uh, comments have zero experience with the four times rep, blah, 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 all this stuff, man. Look, this is what they're talking about. But the real the real thing is they took it out because it was an eight times rep glitch. Everybody seems to know about it. I tried to find the actual glitch and the actual glitch, glitch method. Couldn't find it. Look, eight times rep, eight times rep. This is what everybody's talking about. My problem with this whole thing is I don't understand why 2K does what they do. Look, instead of just banning the people who are guilty 2K feels like they got to, they, 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 they don't ever do that. Instead of banning the people that are guilty or figuring out, figuring out who's doing what or, or any of this stuff, like instead of doing that, they just shut the whole event down. I don't understand. Like, I, I just don't get it. And then 2K was audacious enough to replace Puma Mania, the single greatest event in NBA 2K20, they replaced Puma Mania with with what? Two times wreck. Bro, who the hell want two times? Like, so now instead of sweating out here, at least in the park, you know, you can come out here, you can play with the park, get your double rep, play the game, hoop some, have fun with your friends, all that stuff. Now they say, nah, nah, fuck that. We want y'all sweating in the wreck. You gonna have to sweat in the wreck. If you want to do this, if you want to get your two times rep, and then you have no opportunity to get the three times and the four times rep like we like we supposed to get tomorrow. Nah, they like fuck that. Look, instead of just like I don't get it, 2K, 2K, y'all got to do better, man. I don't understand this whole philosophy that 2K has had since its inception or since the last couple of years. We're going to punish the masses for a few dumbasses. You understand what I'm saying? They're gonna punish the masses for a couple of people that are glitching or what have you. Now, you know the people that are glitching. You got their names. You got all that stuff, man. You know who's getting rep in an unrealistic type of way. Why not just ban them? You ain't even got a perma ban them. Give them a little 24 hour ban as a warning shot. Give them a little eight hour ban as a warning shot. You understand what I'm saying? Give them a little, give them a little, um, maybe, maybe a, a 15 hour ban as a warning shot. Boom. Next time you get 24, next time you just done. Or give them a 48 hour ban, ban them for the whole event, 72 hours, a 66 hour ban is what they said was left in it. Give them that and then just say, hey, look, you know what you did, you know what you were doing, 
and all of that. Because I, I don't think that you should ban, like, when if you leave something open, if you leave the door, it's just like if somebody, like, uh, like a couple months ago, on 285, the truck door came open, the money truck door came open, the money came out, people picked up money off the ground. Can you blame people for picking up money off the ground? No. Did they know it wasn't their money? Yes. So they knew it wasn't exactly right what they did, but they didn't steal nothing. They just picked up picked up money off the ground. That's what they did. So I'm saying you don't have to, you, they ain't get those people life in prison. All they did was they said, hey, if you picked up some of the money, please bring it to the police department and we gonna give you a picture with the police. 285, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, that's what they said they were gonna do. So. That's what I feel like they should have done here. Just say, hey, get old people a little warning shot. Say, hey, you know, give them a chance to come clean. Give them a little 72-hour ban. And then when they come back, you know, whatever. Or, like, I, I don't understand why you shut down the event. If there probably were less than 100 people doing this glitch. There had to be because I didn't hear anything about it. So we know that there's less than 100 people doing the glitch. Maybe it's two or 300. Out of a couple of million people playing the game and you shut down the whole event. Bro, people done took time off. People done got snacks together. We done got our man caves all set up. They planned their entire weekend around this event. And before somebody say something stupid in the comments, man, who gonna take the day off to play 2K? Bro, there's a lot of grown men that play this game. When you get grown and you get a real job, you get what's known as vacation time. I got four months of vacation time right now. You know what I'm talking about? I got four months of vacation time at my job that I've accrued over the last couple of years. Some people can't take but like two, can't take but like, you can take like two, what you can take like two weeks a year and then it maxes out when you get like six months or something like that. I got like four months of vacation time. I've been in my job five years. Once I was vested, I got four months of vacation time. I don't take no time, no other time because a lot of people only take time. We, we, we always thinking, hey, I might get sick. So I'm gonna take a sick day here and there, or um, or I might, you know, and then four months ain't nothing, man. My daddy had like my daddy worked at Georgia Power. He had like over a year. He tore up his knee. He took six months off when he tore his knee up. Didn't have to worry about a check, and he had that act lack. But the whole point is, we have it's a lot of people out there with a lot of vacation time, and we don't have no other reason to take the days. You can only go to so many kids' functions and stuff like that. So hey, we got time. So we gonna take those days off. You damn right, I'll take a day off if I got four months in order to do 2K. So don't get mad at me because I can take a day off to play 2K. Get mad at yourself because you can't. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, hey, if, if I didn't have the time, I'm probably going to take it because Puma Mania only come around. It's the best event. It's the smoothest event. You get the best part. You get all of that stuff. It's not laggy. Jump shots are smooth. The gameplay is smooth. Everything is smooth. The court smooth. Everybody moving. Everything is good, man. You understand what I'm saying? But... What they did was instead of taking it away and just letting everybody else have fun and just banning the boosters, which y'all never do anyway, y'all always ban the boosters after the fact. Why have software that can catch boosters and actively see people that are doing things? If you saw them doing it, you know who's doing it. So why not just ban those people? Why do you sit here and cancel the whole damn event and give us this weak ass wreck? I don't want to be sweating all weekend. I want to play in the park, have fun, play with my damn, play with this. Look, look, I want to wear this come up ass outfit that I created. Do you realize that I created this come up outfit right here just so I could play 2K this weekend? Because I know if I got this come up ass outfit on, people going to think I suck and they won't be scared to get on the court against me and uh, TDM. I, I got a default player face, a Atlanta Hawks helmet. I got on the Kobe's that you got for free out of the, uh, hey, rest in peace, Kobe. I got on the Kobe's that you get for free from my player nation. And then I got, look, I got on mismatch. I got on a Nike sleeve and a, and a, um, and a, uh, Under Armour sleeve, bro. Like, this is what I put together. Do you know how long it took me to concoct this come up ass outfit, my boy? It took me a little minute to concoct this come up ass outfit just so I'd be able to get games during Puma Mania. Uh, so I can come out here. Do you know how many damn boosts I bought in this bitch? Do you know how many boosts I bought in this motherfucker? I had like 40 boosts. I had to buy all them shits. I went and got made sure I had my dog on time. My physicals was all the way up. My time is up. I bought boosts. I got, I got a gallon of motherfucking water right here. Then I'm almost finished drinking. Drink a gallon of water today, man. Make sure y'all get these. If y'all like these, I'm gonna make these for y'all, man. I'll put them in the store. If I should put these in the Breeze Tea store, let me know. I got y'all, man. But look.
I did all this just for this game. I took my wife out Thursday and Friday. I'm about to, and then send her ass off on Saturday morning to get to go to spa day. Y'all fucking up people Valentine's Day weekend, 2K. You fucking up relationships and y'all don't even care. Y'all already fucked it up by putting Puma Mania on this day. On this day yourself, you put the shit on this day anyway on Valentine's Day weekend. That was first fuck up. That already shows that y'all don't get no pussy over there at 2K. And then now, what y'all do? Y'all come and cancel the motherfucker. So now y'all realize the error y'all wake. We better get our goddamn time back. Because my wife is pissed at me right now. Because I elected to play the game with her. Play the game instead of damn doing all this stuff. My wife really ain't mad. I got I, I took care of her Thursday um, and Friday. And we about to go back out now. But that ain't the damn point. Everybody ain't as fortunate as me. That's what I'm saying, 2K. Y'all need to stop this shit. Y'all fucking up relationships. And all types of stuff. Why do y'all keep punishing the masses? For a few dumbasses. Ban the damn boosters. It's the same niggas every year, 2K. It's the same bitch ass niggas that saying they good at the game and all that shit. It's the same niggas every fucking year. It's the same niggas that's the land. It's the same niggas that's cheating. It's the same niggas that's coming up with the goddamn glitches and the boosting and all that. It's the same niggas every year. You know these niggas don't know how to change their IP address. Ban they fucking IP. They don't even know what the fuck an IP is, except for how to flood the motherfucker. Come on, man. It's the same niggas every fucking year, 2K. God damn. I'm about to go and buy these Kawhi Leonard's, okay? Y'all what I'm talking about? I'm about to go buy me some goddamn Kawhi Leonard's. That's how pissed I am. I'm about to go buy me some Kawhi Leonard's and play basketball. But y'all need to get y'all shit together. First of all, test this shit out before you roll it out, my boy. Before you roll it out and have me dressing like a jackass, test this shit out, bro. Make sure that the shit works. Make sure it's unglitchable. Number two, hire some of these lifeless ass niggas that keep flooding your shit, keep goddamn glitching the shit, and figuring this shit out. Hire these niggas! God damn! Did y'all never watch the movie Catch Me If You Can? Well, Leonardo DiCaprio, one of the greatest actors in Hollywood history, and Tom Hanks was chasing him. Once they caught his ass, what did they do? They hired him, and he learned he, he learned them how to how to spot the fake checks and shit, bro. That's what y'all need to do. Hire some of these people. Stop depending on your bum ass staff because they don't know what the fuck is going on. They just put shit out. Bro, I swear to God, I'm a server admin in real life. If I pushed out a goddamn update that broke the whole fucking, the whole fucking business that I that I do the server for, if I pushed out an update and then tested it, I pushed out an update, it fucks everything up. And then they say, well, why did it fuck it up? Because I didn't test it out. Get your ass fired. My ass is fired. Y'all gotta figure this shit out, man. But y'all get to keep y'all job. I want y'all to keep y'all job. Make sure you keep your job. It ain't the devs, it's Activision. Not Activision, it's 2K and, and, and all 2K and Take Two Interactive. Get these people the resources that they need to make a good game. This game could be so good, but y'all just keep fucking it up. Every time. The Puma Mania event, if you just getting here, is gone because there was an eight times rep glitch that people exploited. They exploited it. And now it's over with, man. Shit over with. We don't know if we're getting it back. We don't know if they're going to give us extra time. We don't know none of that. All we know is that the motherfucker's gone. And they thought that two times repping the wreck was a was a cool, was a cool goddamn... Man, fuck it. They thought that two times rep in the wreck was a cool way to, you know, a, a, a cool ass... Uh, what, what do you call that shit? Um, a fill-in, a substitute. It's not. We want to play park. We want to play smooth, Park. We play Puma Mania because that's the only time Park is fucking smooth, bro. Eight times rep glitch. Okay, cool. Ban the people that are doing it. They the only ones that nobody. Man, stop doing this shit. I'm gone, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Hey, like the video. Subscribe for more Daily 2K content. This is what happened to Puma Mania. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Channel. Godspeed.